Hello, I hope you're having a good day. Today I want to talk a little bit about logic, specifically propositions and logical operations. So a proposition is a statement that is either true or false. Logical operations, you know what most of these are, and or not. Those are some basic logical operations. I would like to go into the Zy book, show you a little bit, and then go to some handwritten work. So first, the Zy book. With the Zy book, there are lots of definitions for each one of these words I talked to you about. I would like you to read about them, but I'm going to give you a quick overview of what each one of those are. So. When we talk about a conjunction, we're talking about an AND statement. And AND is true only if both of the two propositions are true. So a conjunction forms a compound proposition. And in order to organize all this, we talk about something called the truth table. And I will do some handwritten work and generate some truth tables for you. One of the other words we talked about was or, which is a disjunction. And a disjunction is true if either the first or the second proposition is true. In other words, a disjunction is false only if both of the propositions are false. Now do not get confused or do not mix up a disjunction with an exclusive or. In the English language, the word or is exclusive. There's actually an ambiguity about the English word or, and I want to be very careful about that. So I will have different symbols for this. A disjunction or an inclusive or will be a wedge or an upside down, well, an upside down and, which is called a V. Another operation is called a negation, and it's exactly what it says it does. It negates a proposition. You can negate a compound proposition as well. What is the negation of an and? Well, I want to talk about that with my handwritten work and see if we can come up with that. So let me move over to some handwritten work. I'm going to draw a truth table here for you. And we're going to start off with two propositions, P and Q. Now, P can take on two truth values, either true or false, and so can Q. If I have two propositions, there are a total of four different possibilities. P could be true, Q could be true, P could be true, Q could be false, and then false, true, false, false. Notice there's a pattern here. These are in groups of two, and these alternate. And you will see that if I have more than two propositions, this alternating of one and two, and then a third one would alternate in four. This is a binary system. And we will talk about binary systems in great length later when we talk about counting. So let's try to come up with something that may get us to a not of an and statement. So when I'm talking about a not of an and statement, what I first want to do is talk about what the and statement looks like. So P and Q, that upside down V, that's the and symbol. So true and true is true, true and false is false, false and true is false, false and false is false. In other words, the only way an and can be true if both of them are true. What I'd like to do is put a not on this. This is the symbol for not. Sometimes you will see me write down a tilde instead of the symbol here. So what is the opposite or not of this column? 
Well, it's false, true, true, true. Now, how do I generate by using P's and Q's this particular column? Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to compute not P and not Q. So this is going to be false, false, true, true. This one's going to be false, true, false, true. How can I put these together to get this particular statement? Well, false and false is false. False and true, well, that's not true. So let's try an OR statement instead of an AND, because I know the AND is not going to work. I just showed you that. False OR false is false. False OR true is true. True OR false is true. And true OR true is true. So my conjecture is this particular statement. Not P OR not Q. So this turns out to be ooh, false, true, true, and true. Do these two columns match up? The answer is yes. So what does that say? That says this particular negation is equivalent to I'm not going to say equals, I'm going to say equivalent to, that's what those three little lines mean, is equivalent to not P or not Q. This is our first proof. I can say, how does not distribute over an AND? Well, we negate each of the propositions and change the AND to an OR. That's our first proof. There are lots of different equivalences that we are going to look at. One of them is called the Morgan's Laws, and that's how to distribute a negation over an AND or a negation over an OR. I'd like you to think about all those. It is in the Zy book. They give hints towards it in later sections. I want to talk about an implication right now. When is an implication true? So if you watch the welcome video, we talked about if it's raining, then the grass is wet. Well, I use that a lot in this class. In other words, I like to think of that particular example as I'm going through implications. So let me produce another equivalence for you on how an implication is equivalent to, well, I'm not going to use an implication in there. And I'll show you how that goes. So let me go to the handwritten stuff. Okay, so let's talk about an implication. What is an implication? The notation is P implies Q. Now, P implies Q, the only way that this is false is if P is true and Q is false. So in other words, my truth table will have the following form. So what I'd like to do is try to figure out how to write an implication with an OR statement. So when is P implies Q actually false? When P is true and Q is false. In other words, if P is false, the statement is automatically true. So I'm gonna start off with a not P and I'm gonna see how this goes together. So looking at this, if not P is true, then I want this to be true. So I think having an OR statement in here is going to be beneficial. Because as soon as I have not P being true, I'm automatically going to have trues down here. 
Now I want to make sure that this spot here is true and this spot here is false. I'm looking at this particular column here. Well, this column, these first two entries, tell me what that is. That's going to be a Q, and that's going to get me a true and a false. So this little truth table is our second proof. This says that P implies Q is equivalent to not P or Q. So when we're looking at these truth tables, we have to notice various combinations. Throughout the Xi book and throughout some of the homeworks, you're going to have lots of examples to do. Hopefully this video was a little insight into some logic. Please do the reading. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.